Hello. Today we will be doing an experiment to demonstrate how to magically transform copper crystals into copper metal. For this experiment you will need some copper sulfate crystals, zinc pellets, table salt, water, a test tube, a pipette, and a spoon. To do this experiment, you must do the following steps. Firstly, you must prepare some wet copper sulfate crystals in the vial by putting two spoons of copper sulfate inside the test tube. Then we use the pipette to add 10 drops of water to the test tube to, w to wet the copper sulfate. Next, you need to add 3 or 4 tablespoons of salt into the test tube so that it forms a separate layer on top of the copper sulfate. After this, you add three zinc pellets inside the test tube so that they rest on top of the layer of salt. We now add water drop by drop to the test tube until it completely submerges the crystals. You can now see that some of the copper has gone up the salt layer, and we now leave the test tube for a couple of days.
After the first layer, we can see that the reddish-brown substance has formed inside the salt layer. Two days later, you can see a thicker layer of this reddish-brown substance in between the two layers. Its reddish color and shiny appearance tells us that this is metal copper. So how did blue copper crystals become copper metal? Adding water to the copper sulfate released positively charged copper ions. These copper ions were then attracted to the negative chlorine ions in the salt layer above. As the positive copper ions moved up the test tube, it grabbed electrons from the zinc pellets turning into metallic copper. Thank you for watching.